This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 10, Building an App, Color Sleuth, Part 5. Let's make one square slightly different. Ah, we're going to change up colors. Okay. Add two lines to the bottom of the code that look like, that look like something like this. Okay. Use diff color, the background color for any one button. Okay, so we're going to declare a new variable here. They named theirs diff color, so I guess, and they said add it to the bottom. Although variable declarations traditionally go at the top, I'll listen. We usually create our variables at the top for clarity and, well, honestly, uh, program operation. But for now, this is great. Uh, we need red, green, blue. Yep. I don't need this final one that affects transparency, so I'm going to get rid of it by hitting the arrow. And then they have 250 and then 175, because it's going to be orange still, but it has, um, well, a bit more green in it. And then diff color, okay. Now set property of button 3. Oh, did they move this? Okay, no, they didn't. I guess we're going to have two for set button three because they said I add two lines. So, all right. And then background color still. We're changing out the background color. And now we want to set this to our variable, which won't pop up. Instead of color, we're going to set it to diff color. And this is going to be the color that will be displayed because... The program's going to run through this code, and for a maybe a millisecond, maybe even less, three will be the original color before we even see, or probably before the program even executes, the program will already have established that it's actually going to be this color. Remember, code runs in order. But uh And if you want to check what button's what, four, three, two, one, so... Can you see the difference, huh? All right, looking good. Let's keep going.